Hi, and welcome to this very short introduction to residual entropy. This is a topic which is probably new to you, but it relies on our molecular understanding of entropy. We have already been introduced to the idea of entropy, and we have learnt that as the temperature falls, the population of molecules in higher energy levels falls. And so the probability of existing in particular energy levels increases. We can theoretically reach temperature, absolute zero, where all molecules are in just one possible microstate, the lowest energy level, and you would predict that the entropy of the system is zero. However, there are some circumstances where this is not always the case. If we consider a crystal of carbon monoxide, the energy difference between the two positions of the atoms in the crystal, either CO or OC, is negligible. Hence, when the crystal forms, there is a mixture of these two states. Essentially, each atom in the crystal is randomly arranged in one of two orientations. Consequently, we have an entropy even at absolute zero. This is called the residual entropy. It is a measure of the possible states of the system at absolute zero. When we use the same statistical approach introduced earlier, and our multiplicity is the number of possible states raised to the power of the number of molecules, using some of our rules of logs, we can rearrange this and get rid of the very, very large number to find our residual entropy is around 5.7 joules per Kelvin per mole. Some species have two or more degenerate lowest energy levels, and in others, the presence of isotopes is another cause of residual entropy. Consequently, most species, including extended covalent species such as diamond still have entropy even at absolute zero. Residual entropy may only contribute a small amount to the absolute entropy of a system at room temperature but it is an important concept to consider as the temperature decreases. It is also a nice example of statistical thermodynamics in action. As always if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask.